Every week, we scour the internet to find the most amazing, creative, and jaw-dropping content developed in Unity. This is Game Dev HQ, and enjoy the best of made with Unity. All right, Sleepy Creepy Studios is optimizing performance on a 3060. Uh, it's a pretty good card right there. Looks good. Uh, I don't see any hitches, uh, nothing glitching. I, I would assume that some of the performance is probably being a uh, hit because of your trees in the background. Less, more your enemies or your floor. It looks pretty straightforward and simple with just a texture. So I'm glad to see it's working really well. Um, you know, LODs work great in bringing that down, but look pretty damn smooth from here. Uh, we have uh, Fire Totem Games, who's demonstrating their spider mechanic game, um, pulling on the webs as you hang on it. Dude, I, I've seen this for years now and how it's progressed. It looks amazing. Um, I'm really looking forward to the actual release of the game. So awesome work right there. Uh, Yosef has fixed the uh, the roads so that uh, the asset uh, doesn't have to be redone by scratch. Uh, great work. Uh, there's a little bit of like, I don't know if it's a power up or a light system or a different uh, uh, possible uh, global volume that it's running into, but you can kind of see it as it's running into it. And of course, later on, you got more details, but overall, it looks really smooth. Uh, great work. Oh, Duncan. Duncan making more amazing VFX particle systems inside of Unity. Uh, it's capturing live data from its motion camera, probably using a uh, an Xbox 360. What, what are those live cameras that, that capture the motion? It's so incredible. Uh, uh, nine and a half out of 10, as always, beautiful work. Okay, so Masataka has just, you know, elbowed his way into the top because this is incredible. Um, look at the detail of that fish. That is all procedurally generated movement right there. Nice little soft body movement with all the, the, the fish fins and how it's it's just gentle. It just floats in the water. The little bubbles, look at the leaves, they're particles. The sand is particles. It's not um, a solid material. It looks incredible. Great work, uh, great, incredible lighting. Uh, it's so simple, but everything that went behind it is, is is, is masterful. So great work, 10 out of 10. This leads the best of this week so far. Um, Ed's got some more fish simulation. We featured him next week. Got another great fish simulation underwater. This could be a really interesting game. We haven't seen a lot of really good underwater exploration games, especially knowing that how terrifying the underwater world can be and how beautiful it can be at the same time. So I'm interested to see where this game uh, kind of shifts to, but you know, already he's got a great foundation to build from. Great work. Uh, Let's give it a 9 out of 10. Muro Studios um, has a great little 2D game going. Been featuring this for a while. Uh, eight and a half out of 10. Just really good, solid, creative, beautiful work. Mona, it's been talked about for years now. I'm glad to see that this is finally gonna be coming out soon. Um, this should be an incredible game uh, made by a really dedicated developer for, for many, many years. So for great work, great job sticking to it, pushing through, getting it to this end. Um, and we can't wait to play it. Sarb has this really beautiful new magical tree area. Love it. I think it's beautiful. Uh, really clean. Uh, nice environment. Good job. Uh, Sylvie Labs. Nice work with the, uh, looks like it's VR. Uh, great looking environment. All dynamic apparently. You can see with the light, and the, uh, the different light sources. Um, otherwise, it's baked using post-processing volumes to, to change the lighting intensity. Uh, great work, uh, especially on a VR game. It should be really successful. Let's 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 give it uh, eight and a half out of ten right now. Ah, Crow's Nest has this beautiful 2D uh, bullet hell simulation. Love it. Uh, I love these 2D games. They're simple, but they're fun to create. You really get the dynamics of how to do game development down like that. So good job. Uh, Madison Beak has this really cool side-scrolling 2D adventure, good attack systems, interesting enemies, um, good overall. I, I think it's a good start. I, I hope that the environment ends up being a little more um, fuller because right now it's, it's just kind of empty and stark. So hopefully um, they'll be adding more of that uh, later in, but it looks like the, the actual fighting mechanic is really good. Um, Nargi Nargaya? Um, looks pretty cool i you know my initial impression is this is a a, a nice little um you know 2d side scrolling platformer type of game a nice little attack uh, great looking sprites uh, yeah overall really nice uh, let's give it an 8 out of 10. division man this looks beautiful like this looks hauntingly beautiful with that you know, volumetric light in the background and just the it, the items in the environment and how it, it almost there's like this visual storytelling element to it that I really like that makes you want to question what's actually going on. 
Um, and, you know, even though the textures are really simple because of the lighting, it looks far more complex than it actually is. So great work there. Um, I give it a, uh, eight and a half, possibly a nine out of 10. Uh, bullet Mancer Strike, uh, obviously this, we know where this, oh, yeah, there it went. Um, so awesome work. Uh, nice, nice, uh, ragdoll effect right there with the enemy. Uh, great job. Oh, this brings me back to old school. I love seeing this, uh, old Contra days. Uh, you know, it's a great way to learn how to make games is, is just by emulating the games that you've always loved. And this is obviously just a great um, the ode to the Contra's second level in the very first game. Um, great job. It actually, I would say, this looks better than a lot of the Contra releases that I've seen in my day. So, so excellent work, great job. Ooh, reveal the game. Uh, first gameplay insight, first person psycho thriller with mystery and adventure. Um, I love it. I love the puzzle element. I love the first person exploration. Um, it looks like it's it's easy to see what's going on there, but the lighting is it's not just like a black room and you're just clicking on things. Um, and, and, uh, uh, looks like everything is very interactive, which is awesome. It doesn't look hashed together like it's some sort of house kit. Uh, it looks like they've actually taken the time to make this very customizable uh, to the specific story. So really, I mean, this looks like it's going to be a solid game. Um, very interesting, very good work, uh, and, and hopefully it does really well. So you know, we'll, we'll have to keep an eye on this one to see where it goes. Uh, Hexware Studios, a VR game, nice environment. Um, not too crazy about the avatar. I, I think based on your current environment, you can have something a little more, um, I guess, darker or more realistic, but overall, everything else looks really clean, really beautiful, a little dark, uh, a little hard to see some things, but you know, maybe over time that the lighting will improve and be able to see uh, some more of your beautiful environment that you got. But overall, great work. It looks like it could be really fun, really uh, a great little multiplayer environment, uh, horror story experience, so good job. Uh, Nestash has this, of course, beautiful uh, foliage, the leaves falling, great environment, nice color and tint. We, we featured Project Beyonder right when it was starting and to see it to this point, it's really exciting. So good work. Frontier Hunter, wow. Beautiful character, beautiful VFX, beautiful animation, really clean, um, excellent job. Uh, let's give it a nine out of 10. Bohemian Pulp, uh, it's futuristic, uh, Neo Tokyo experience. I love it. I think it's beautiful. Uh, I'm curious to see what it's going to be like. Uh, so let bygones be bygones. Very fun. Uh, we're excited to see this game. We're, we're glad to see this come together. Strawberry Octi. We've uh, featured this game a couple times back in the past. Usually it's filled with like explosions and people getting slammed all around and some crazy new mid boss. This just shows like a simple shot in the game and you could see how many layers of detail are in this particular shot where you got the uh, background screens playing the projections and then you got the, the falling confetti fetty on the ground and just the audience and, and all the different lights. So, I mean, it's just a great example of, you know, simple elements being done really well to make it in an all encompassing scene. Uh, Renzi created this beautiful uh, pentagram type of uh, gold spell effect. Good job. Really clean. Really nice. Cyan has created a, a beautiful simulation for VFX using uh, uh, the bacon. I love the fire. That's that's the sphere. I love the egg that starts off clear and then it turns whiter. Uh, great uh, shader experiment uh, showcasing what the, the shader graph can do. Good job. Dan has this new water render on the way. This looks like a really good water renderer. It doesn't look too heavy, especially, you know, it being like if it was a particle simulation, it'd be killing the computer, but this looks like it runs really well. I'd love to hear what uh, plugin you're using or if you created it on your own, but this looks really good. I, I compare it almost to the, uh, like the World of Warships type of water renderer that they use there, which is really fantastic. So good job. Uh, so Dan, if you can just let us know which one you use, because that'd be really interesting to hear. Um, Amadeli, uh, beautiful over the shoulder attack system, nice use of shaders, nice use of VFX graph, good animations, good looking monster, uh, nice normals, nice, nice texturing all around. Um, the, the lighting seems a little flat, uh, but, and, and the, the, the actual attack could use a little more uh, anticipation, uh, in it. But other than that, it looks phenomenal. Uh, I think it's, it's really good. Uh, nine out of 10.
So obviously for me, the, the winner this week is going to be Masataka. He created that beautiful looking fish that floated through the scene. It's absolutely gorgeous. There's just, you know, for something as simple as a, gel, uh, a goldfish fly, uh, floating through that water, it looked incredible. It looked so highly detailed. Um, the fins, the, the way that the, the fish tail kind of flapped effortlessly, there's nothing forced about that. The particles, the clear water, you know, everything was visible to be interpreted as that could be visually wrong and he took something that is not only hyper realistic but then he also added surrealism with it with the use of the, the particles on the ground etc etc uh, absolutely incredible 10 out of 10 uh, always go, go check out his work on patreon help him out because it, it, it's really good um that was my pick for this week i, I hope you guys liked it i hope uh in the comments you guys choose what you think is going to be the best one this week and, and what you think about masataka's fish um other than that uh we'll have more next week guys so thank you for being a part of this and you take care i'll catch you later